So I want to tell you about a problem that hardly anybody knows about. It's a problem that could actually be as serious as climate change, but it's a problem that we can easily solve once we know and understand it. And the problem is that we're living in a toxic chemical soup. And this kind of toxic minestrone is really not so good for our health. For example, some of the chemicals that are in our couches and our TVs can migrate out into dust and from the dust find their way into our pets, ourselves, and worst of all, into our children. And the companies that make these chemicals don't have to label them. They don't have to provide us with any health information. Uh, but we know from health studies in animals that many of these chemicals cause conditions like cancer, uh, neurological problems such as hyperactivity, um, reproductive problems such as infertility and low sperm count, and scientists are even looking to see if they are connected to autism. And these conditions that these chemicals cause in animals are the same conditions that are growing in people. In fact, the chemicals have been around for 40 years, and during the last 40 years, all these conditions have been growing. And in the 70s, I did research that showed that the flame retardant that was used in all children's sleepwear in America caused changes in DNA or mutations. Maybe some of you remember, or maybe some of you wore the sleepwear. The chemical was called Tris, and we also found that when children wore pajamas with that sleepwear, with that chemical in their sleepwear, the next morning their urine contained a breakdown product or metabolite that was known to cause cancer. Can you believe that? And we couldn't believe it either, so we wrote a lead article for Science Magazine, and three months later, Tris was taken out of children's sleepwear. Yay! However, the same Tris that was taken out of children's sleepwear is today back in our couches, in our furniture. And that's really hard to believe. And another problem is chemicals like the tris, they migrate out of our furniture, as, in, as I said, into our pets' bodies, our bodies, worst of all, our kids' bodies. And then they end up in the soil, the ocean. Uh, they make their way back into the food chain. And they accumulate at the cr into creatures at the top of the food chain. And so some examples that are pretty startling um, are peregrine falcons, which have some of the highest levels of toxic flame retardants ever uh, recorded in a land creature. That in the center is a Tasmanian devil. It's a carnivore that lives on a small island off Australia. And Tasmanian devils are having immune problems. They may be going extinct, and their bodies are full of a flame retardant that probably came from furniture in California. And these chemicals are even in the Antarctic. And a really sad thing is that killer whales are full of flame retardants. One that was banned 30 years ago, you still find in killer whales because these chemicals last a really long time in the environment and in our bodies. That's one of the huge problems with them. And the killer whales now, the level is increasing of the chemical that comes from our furniture. So there's even a paper called Fireproof Killer Whales. What could be sadder? So I'm a mountain climber, and when I feel a little sad and discouraged and I want to think, I climb a mountain. And when you're walking on a ridge like this with a 3,000-foot drop-off on either side of you, you can get focused. You get new ideas. This was actually on the first women's ascent of Denali, the highest mountain in North America. So while I'm on that ridge, I'm going over and over in my mind, what can we do about these toxic chemicals that go from our couches to our kids to the killer whales? And the answer is, we don't need them. We need laws passed so that manufacturers have to tell us what are the chemicals in our consumer products and that they cannot be toxic. We've got to demand no more toxic chemicals in our computers, our couches, our TVs, and that way, the chemicals won't up, end up in our cats, our kids, or the killer whales. We need to get out of the toxic chemical soup, and I believe we can.